What it do, Internet? David Baugh here, and today we are skis into the max. We're chilling in the RV. We're having a good time. Aren't you, Lacey? You having a good time? Yeah? Mm hmm. We finally got the internet working enough for her to work in here. So I'm gonna just interrupt her. I'm gonna try not to show your screen. Potentially blur it out at some times. Let's get into it. Today I wanted to talk about why we decided to do this in the first place, uh, especially now that it's starting to pay off. We've heard a lot of the arguments that we shouldn't be doing it, we shouldn't be doing it with a baby, we shouldn't be doing it with a baby and two dogs. I think it's good. And I think if you're not doing something every day that scares you just a little bit, you're not doing it right. I'm you know? scared every day, ask him by my attitude. <laughs> right? I feel like it's <laughs> the right kind of risk to take. It's the right time to take said risk. It just seems like you can spend all the money and get an apartment and it's stuck in that one place, you know, or you can spend a little bit more money and get into something that um, it's just, it could be anywhere. We could be at the Grand Canyon right now for all you know. Go ahead. It's, uh... A hard pill for a lot of people to swallow, but mm -hmm. it's definitely a lifestyle that a lot of people are doing now, and I'm excited to do it. Mm -hmm. You know, doesn't mean there won't be any troubles or hardships or anything like that, but I don't feel like it's anything we can't handle considering the year that we've had. You know, things are really hard for a lot of people right now, and this just allows us that no matter what happens, there's a place to fall back on. If it breaks down, it's still a house. And if we needed to, we could sell it. Um, especially once we upgrade it, we do plan on doing a lot of upgrades and a lot of stuff to it, so. I think it's just the wave of the future and you seldom get the opportunity to be on the crest of, of a wave like that, you know, where lots and lots of people are going nomadic these days. So. Right, like I've had three people just chat in today tell me that they're going the nomadic lifestyle. This woman mm -hmm. wanted to try our service for it and, you know. It's not like we weren't already sitting in a, in a room all day, every day with a baby anyway. Your apartment, probably like living space wise, I would say, maybe 700 to 500 to 700 feet I'd say is probably it's probably accurate so this is 200 and some odd feet so it's about half it's about half of what your apartment was and it's all squeezed together but the space is well utilized and I really enjoy that there's so many things to do with it you know I think you said it the other day it's like you go to bed tired living in an RV because yep. you've got to be up and doing stuff all the time and we've been basically sitting around for fucking all of 2020. Everybody has. There's nowhere to go, you know. We were just looking, you know, if we have to stay inside and we have to quarantine in our own little house, that house might as well be able to have the best views possible. Like if they're just some of those, those small things, it's the excitement about it you know that you kind of forgot about kind of lost but i feel like that's a huge thing with this rv being able to move and take all of our stuff with us and wake up and go have a cup of whatever you want in the morning before you start your day and or work you know and you get to see the grand canyon or you can see stanley hotel the stanley hotel you know from the top of a mountain or go to rocky mountain national forest and there's just so many options you know, it's easy to be closed off after this year, so be so angry, everybody's so angry, everybody's so, you know, everything negative. So I feel I'm really excited to change this year and, you know, flip our shit upside down while everybody else is just watching us have a good time on YouTube when they could be doing the same thing. $4,500 for this trailer, y'all. $4,500. Like, yeah. you know, if I can, nail if I can it. do it, anybody can do it, you know. Anybody can do it. Anybody can do you it. You can also like, comment, and subscribe. And buy some merch too. And buy the help merch. Us, help us get that truck goes, to get on out of here, y'all. It goes directly into our gas fund. It does directly. And they're cool designs. So. <laughs> they are. Do it. I wear them a lot of the time. Right. This will be, this will be my first paycheck 
that I've received in over in over like seven years that doesn't go towards rent. That does not go towards rent. Right. Like I will. This is the first time in seven years straight that I will not have to pay rent. Right. We are gonna have to get a truck, so I think there's gonna be an auto loan, but that's nothing. So much cheaper than what we would be a paying. A thousand bucks anyway. a month for the same square footage that we basically sit in every day, anyhow. You know, you just get a lot of bang for your buck in such a small space, and it's sustainable. And you're active. I and mean, you're active. We're, we're up. We've been up and out doing stuff all day, every day. Well, especially with these dogs, I think we walk about at, at least with both all both of us combined, like maybe five to seven miles a day. Yeah, just for these dogs, about right. you know. So. Just for the dogs, because we go several miles each time, uh, two to four times a day. But it's uh, it's it's just been a rewarding experience. It's been you know, it's much less subsisting and more actively living your life I found in an RV and that's the kind of life that we want to give Scarlett but we probably rambled enough I've probably got enough to edit this together but that's all I had for you guys today it was a pleasure as always and you have a wonderful evening